Hey everyone, great to have you back. As you are undoubtedly aware, eliminating carbon footprints and substituting renewable energy sources for fossil fuels is a target for the entire world. However, there are several issues that must be considered, and one of the most important is energy storage. Overcapacity in renewables and the need to store these resources for extended periods push the renewal. CEO of Magnum Development and Chief Strategy Officer Robert Webster says we know that the sun doesn't shine every day. Even if the wind doesn't blow all the time, there's still a need for electricity. And these bulk storage facilities allow renewable energy to be dispatchable for the first time. Lithium-ion battery installations are springing up everywhere right now. Recently, Notable events resulted in an expansion of Tesla's Hornsdale Power Reserve. In 2019, it saved $116 million in frequency control auxiliary services cost and improved electrical system resiliency. According to Highview Power Lithium CEO Javier Cabada, the company has a significant role to play in the transition, but it cannot do it solely. While lithium-ion batteries are the most powerful technology for small scale, short-term applications. He went on to say that stacking batteries isn't a realistic option for larger-scale deployments. However, the energy storage capacity of these battery systems is just two to four hours. Today, solar and wind power are among the most cost-effective ways to generate energy with megawatt-hour cost averaging $40 and $28 respectively. Before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button and let's begin. Also, we are giving away $100 to one of our lucky subscribers. All you have to do is watch the entire video, leave a comment with your greatest takeaway, like, share, and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into it. It costs around $150 to discharge 4 hours worth of energy. When you add lithium-ion battery storage and figure out the per megawatt hour cost, with larger systems, you'll pay more per unit, but this is where air power comes in. The cryogenic storage of electricity in liquid air, or nitrogen, known as LAES, is a brand new thermomechanical storage technology. As a result, we can claim that liquid air storage technology is trying to separate itself from lithium-ion batteries. As far back as the 1940s and 1950s, oil and gas engineering techniques provided liquid air energy. Thus, it isn't new. How does it work? This procedure is straightforward. The three sub-processes are charging, storing, and discharging. The technique reduces the volume of ambient air by 700 times after purifying, drying, and cooling it to a negative 196 degrees Celsius. To put it another way, one liter of liquid air was converted into one liter of near-atmospheric pressure tanks. The cloud cycle, so named for its discoverer George Cloud, existed for more than a century. What potential does this technology have? System stability and adaptability are enhanced by the use of LAES. Operators may store long-term energy at a low cost with LAES. Hundreds of megawatts of long-term energy storage may be produced using these installations and to maximize system efficiency, plants should be able to use industrial waste heat or coal. Peak shaving and interday arbitrage of energy kept at low rates and discharged at high tariffs are two examples of multipurpose technology for transmission and distribution optimization. This technique uses insulated tanks to compress, liquefy, and store air. Air is heated and evaporated to produce electricity. It is also possible to deploy LAES systems in almost any location. Highview Power believes that a 50MW to 250MWH plant can power 100,000 homes. In the future, Highview aims to license its technology to others. To alleviate transmission challenges in the region, the company proposes to build a 50 megawatt Vermont power plant with 8 hours of storage capacity. According to the California Energy Storage Alliance Executive Director Alex Morris, the state's electric grid requires some power generation in more densely populated regions where the property is more expensive. Because of this, you'll want to bring in solutions that can fit in the actual area that you have available. Scaling these systems up 
is as simple as acquiring more natural gas storage tanks from the existing distribution network. Liquid air energy storage primary components are readily available. On the other hand, lithium ion has a higher price per megawatt hour as the system grows more extensive, which is not the case with solar. Like the Hornsdale Power Reserve, lithium ion batteries can swiftly adjust to fluctuations in energy demand and thereby save a significant amount of money. Cryogenic energy storage is an excellent idea. Cryogenic air may be used to store energy for up to 4, 6, or even a whole day. For large-scale installation of many megawatt-hours, a compact footprint and excellent energy density are the primary advantages of this technology. During the ESA annual conference and exhibition in August 2021, Salvatore Minopoli, Vice President of High View Power said that the best skill set for a project is anything above 25 megawatts and lasting more than 4 hours. As the Executive Director of the California Energy Storage Alliance, Alex Morris believes that these features may make liquid air practicable in metropolitan settings, especially when it comes to energy storage. What challenges will this face? Getting a handle on a facility's operating costs, including preventive maintenance and prospective plant overalls, is the most challenging component of dealing with liquid air. It's difficult to precisely calculate expenditures because there aren't a lot of analogies to other technologies. Additionally, LAES has a decreased cycle efficiency towards the end of the cycle, which is a drawback. Liquefied natural gas facilities can be integrated and co-located with LAES to increase cycle efficiency. The market scope It is essential to understand that the LAES market is divided into several distinct segments based on factors such as geography, nation, and kind of application. Liquid air energy storage systems market participants and stakeholders will be better positioned to get an edge in their respective fields. The key focus of this segmental study for the years 2016 to 2027 is on revenue and forecast by area, nation, type, and application. This year, the global liquid air energy storage systems market is predicted to grow from $367 million in 2021 to millions and millions of dollars. According to a newly released analysis, a compound annual growth rate CAGR of 16.4% is predicted for the worldwide liquid air energy storage market in 2028, which is estimated to reach $1 billion. What are the research advancements on this? Because LAES can store vast amounts of liquid air energy indefinitely, it also has no geographic limitations. To learn more about this new technology, several research projects are being carried out worldwide. Sumitomo's energy technology subsidiary, Sumitomo Shi FW, has formed a relationship with China's State Power Investment Organization to study the viability of utility-scale liquid air energy storage systems, such as the state-owned power investment company SPIC or Shanghai Power Equipment Research Institute, in order to find the best solution for the Institute's Binhai Power Plant Energy Storage Demonstration Project in the Chinese province of Jiangsu, the collaboration will examine the usage of liquid air storage cryo batteries created by the United Kingdom-based Highview Power. Both systems will be able to produce 50 megawatts of power. It is possible to build large-scale liquid air energy storage devices in China to store vast amounts of liquid air energy. This is being explored by a joint venture between the Shanghai Power Equipment Research Institute and the Sumitomo Shi FW. According to UK-based Highview Power, renewable energy may be supplemented by long-duration energy storage to replace fossil fuels, which invented, patented, and marketed the technology. Will this be available soon? When will we be able to witness them in action? They're already here, and they'll be here in a matter of years or less if not sooner. Scotland is home to the second set of projects that began implementation in the spring of 2017. About 40 initiatives are now in the works, seven of which are at an advanced stage and will be implemented by year's end. The topic of energy storage is constantly brought up when discussing the need to modernize our electrical infrastructure. How cheap solar and wind power become is immaterial if we cannot store it till needed. We need to store energy. 
the very basic liquid air battery technology has the potential to be an essential element of the solution to this problem. I'm so excited to see and use this battery soon, aren't you? And that's it for this video. If you found this episode interesting, do me a favor and smash those like, subscribe, and bell buttons for more updates about our latest uploads. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.